the valve. And the spring. And the cap. Start the machine. The pump's running. The pressure is at zero. The valves are both open. We can close the concentrate control valve all the way. Closed. We can start turning the concentrate pressure control valve in, which will bring the pressure up. If this is at zero, it's going to bypass and go right out because the pressure is at zero. If we turn this down, the pressure, it will allow the pressure to go up so you can turn it, start turning it up, the pressure will go up to maybe a hundred pounds and then the relief valve will let fluid bypass through here. To get more pressure, to set the pressure, we turn this up higher, turn the concentrate control valve in, and maybe go up to 300 and then it'll bypass again. Spring will let it bypass at 300 psi. Back it off a little, turn this up a few turns, bring the pressure back up over 300. And as you turn this down, each time back, each time you turn this back up to bring the pressure up, should be higher, maybe 400. Back it off a little bit. You can turn this down, which should let the pressure come up higher again. So you turn your valve back in. It'll reach 400 and then should open up but back it back down a little bit you can turn this up you just keep repeating this until you get it up to 900 psi when you get it up closer to 900 psi you just want to turn a little bit and then turn your pressure your concentrate valve back in and until the spring lets it pop at 875 or 900. On this lower lock washer, spin this up tight when you got it up to what pressure you want it to break at. Three quarter inch wrench on the top, three quarter inch on the set lock nut, tighten the bottom one counterclockwise and hold the top one and then it's set tight.